السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ ویکم تو می دیلی عربک وکبلریس ای ام مدارس سلیمان علی حپی لسنین وی اگوین تو لین فرم دیس لسن how to change the Arabic word Samia Samia to suit some certain pronouns in Arabic Fi'ilun Madin past tense Fi'ilun Madin past participle Fi'ilun Madin this is a word in Arabic that we can use to talk about an action completed by someone in the past the question is, uh, how do we change the Arabic verb Samia to suit the pronouns below? Samia simply means he has head. He in Arabic is hua, which is the opposite of here, she. So how do we now change the verb Samia to suit the following pronouns? Wahid, number one. Ana, I. So how do we change? the verb semia to suit ana all you need to do is to attach taun carrying dumma to the last letter then you give sukun to the letter before it the verb semia will now become semitu which means i have head if none number two nahnu we so how do we change the verb semia to suit nahanu all you need to do is to attach na to the last letter then you give sukun to the letter before it the verb semia will now become semina semina which means we have head thalatha number three anta you representing a single male person so how do we now change the verb semia to suit anta all you need to do is to attach taun current fatha to the last letter then you give sukun to the letter before it. The verb semia will now become semita, which means you have head. Arba, number four, anti, you, representing a single female person. So how do we now change the verb semia to suit anti? All you need to do is to attach taun, karin kasara, to the last letter. So the verb, then you give sukun to the letter before it. The verb semia will now become semiti. Semiti, which means you have heard talking to a single female person. Hamsa, number five. Here, she. So, how do we change the verb semia to suit here? All you need to do is to just attach taun, carrying sukun to the last letter. The verb semia will now become semiat. Semiat, which means she has heard. لا الله كفهمت. I hope you understand. ما شاء الله. الاستعمال. Now the usage. واحد number one. سمع أثمان الأخبار من المذياع. سمع أثمان الأخبار من المذياع. سمع أثمان. أثمان has heard الأخبار. The news. من المذياع. From the radio. سمي أثمان الأخبار أثمان هاد النوس من المذياع from the radio remember مينا is an agent of كسرة so it must give سكون to the last letter of the word in Arabic appearing after it as we have it in من المذياع إثنان number two سمعت زينب الإعلان من التلفاز سمعت زينب الإعلان Mina Tilfaz. Same at Zainab. Zainab had the announcement. Mina Tilfaz from the television. Same at Zainab al Ilana. Zainab had the announcement. Mina Tilfaz from the television. Thalatha, number three. Semitu Sultan Hadian. Mina al Gurfa. Semitu Sultan Hadian. Mina al Gurfa. Semitu. I heard. Sultan Hadian, a calm voice, Min al Gurfa, from the room. Semitu, I heard. Sultan Hadian, a calm voice, Min al Gurfa, from the room. Arba, number four. Semina Sultan Mortefian, Min al Fasil. 
سمعنا صوتا مرتفعا من الفصل سمعنا we have heard صوتا مرتفعا a loud voice من الفصل from the classroom سمعنا we heard صوتا مرتفعا a loud voice من الفصل from the classroom خمسة number five هل سمعت ما قلت يا زيد هل سمعت ما قلت يا زيد هل سمعت did you hear ما قلت what I have said ما قلت what I said يا زيد زيد talking to زيد as a single male person ستة number six هل سمعت ما قلنا يا زينب هل سمعت ما قلنا هل سمعت did you hear ما قلنا what we have said يا زينب زينب talking to زينب as a single female person لا الله كفهمت I hope you understand ما شاء الله أدرس لين ولاهز and observe at the same time أدرس study ولاهز and observe at the same time موجب positive منفي negative موجب positive this simply means a word in Arabic that shows that something has happened منفي negative a word or a combination of words in Arabic that shows that something has not happened for instance واحد number one Samia means he has heard which means the hearing has taken place from him but ما Samia he didn't hear that means hearing has not taken place from him from his own side Ethnan number two Samia she has heard ما Samia she didn't hear ثلاثة number three سمعتو I heard ما سمعتو I didn't hear أربعة number four سمعنا we heard ما سمعنا we didn't hear خمسة number five سمعت سمعت you heard ما سمعت you didn't hear ستة number six سم سمعتي talking to a single female person سمعتي you heard ما سمعتي you didn't hear لا لا كفهمت I hope you understand ما شاء الله just like you say in the hub to I went ما ذهب تو I didn't go قراءة تو I read ما قراءة تو I didn't read كتاب تو I wrote ما كتاب تو I didn't write لا الله كفهمت I hope you understand ما شاء الله أدرس لين ولاهز and observe at the same time أدرس study ولاهز and observe at the same time مفرد سنغولا جمو plural Mufradun singular. This is a word in Arabic that means only one. Jamu plural. This is a word in Arabic that means more than two. From three upward. Plurality in Arabic is from three upward. Unlike English, where it starts from two upward. Wahid number one. Khabar. News. The plural is akhbar. Akhbar. News. Ithnan number two. Ilan. Ilanun. Announcement. Ilanat. Ilanat. Announcements. Thalatha number three. Sotun. Voice. Sotun. Tun. Aswat. Aswat. Voices. Aswat. Tones. Arba number four. Gurfa. Gurfa. Room. Gorof, Gorof, rooms. Hamsa number five. Faslun, Faslun, classroom. Fusul, Fusul, classrooms. La Allah ka fahimt. I hope you understand. Masha Allah. Now the comparison between Madin past tense and Modariun present tense. Wahid number one. Hua he, Samia. He heard or he has heard. Yes, Mao. He can hear or he hears. Ethnan number two. Hear she. Samiat she heard. Tasmao she hears. Thalatha number three. Ana I. Semitu I heard. Asmao I hear. Arba number four. Nahnu we. Semina we have heard or we heard. 
نسمع وي كان هي أو وي هي خمسة نمبر فايف أنت يو representing a single male person سمعت you have heard أو you heard تسمع you can hear أو you hear ستة نمبر سكس أنت يو representing a single female person سمعت you have heard أو you heard تسمعين you can hear أو you hear سبعة نمبر سبن أنتم all of you referring to a group of male persons سمعتم you have all heard أو you all heard تسمعنا تسمعنا you can all hear أو you all hear ثمانية نمبر إيت أنتم all of you referring to a group of female persons سمعتنا you have all heard أو you all heard تسمعونا تسمعونا So tasma'una should represent antum while tasma'una should represent antunna. So antum is tasma'una while antunna is tasma'una. I repeat, antum is tasma'una while antunna is tasma'una. So antum tasma'una. You can all hear. Tasma'una is for a group of male persons while tasma'una is for a group of female persons. So antum is tasma'una while antunna is tasma'una. لا ألاقى فهمت I hope you understand ما شاء الله سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك Do not forget to go to the classroom Take your lesson Watching a single video clip And revise it Using the PDF file below it مع السلامة وإلى اللقاء آخر